Brittany. Oh, you're, you're recording. Okay, good. Um, you know, I just want to kind of share what, what I've been doing and what's working. Um, and that way we could all together um, kind of do the same onboarding steps. Um, if you want to tweak it, that's more you and your style. You could always do that. Um, this is just to give you a rough draft, a rough draft of um, the steps that I'm taking and how it is calculated. Um, I do a certain step before another one for a reason. So I am going to explain that. Um, and it's pretty much the same like my consultation that, that I do. Um, there is a reason for each step. Um, so we're going to waste no time tonight. And we're going to hop right in because uh, I know you guys want your hands on this. Um, so the very first thing when somebody joins me, a new market partner, um, of course, I'm going to congratulate them, um, tell them how proud I am of them for um, believing in themselves and taking this leap. Um, so first, I just congratulate them and I say, okay, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, the very first thing I want you to do is um, I want you to make a list. And so this could be on a phone call that we are doing our onboarding. It could be on a um, phone call, but I don't do much. I don't do many phone calls. If I can't meet with them in face, face to face, I will do a video call onboarding them um, because they need to feel my energy. They need to, I need to have eye contact with them. I need to see that they are sitting down, taking notes. If they are not sitting down, taking notes when you're doing our onboarding, Honestly, I would say, hey, you know what? I know that you're busy right now. What time could I have your undivided attention where you could take notes? And that's happened to me before. Even though I told her the day before, um, have notes and pen ready. And um, she was driving and I'm like, hey, you know what? I don't even wanna waste your time. Um, you know, you, we had to have this stuff right, written down. You know, so I rescheduled the onboarding call with her. Okay, so make sure that whoever you're onboarding they're sitting down and able to take notes. Um, so the very first thing that we need is we need to have a list, okay? Um, and it could be even just starting out, it could be 15 to 20 people. Um, and just say, just think of 15 people or 20 people that have hair issues that you know for a fact have hair issues, um, you know, and so they'll start making that list. Um, and you're gonna say, just to let you know, you kind of throw it out there that, you know, in your first 90 days, you are in Smart Start. So um, I could explain it more, but it is $100 per customer in your first 90 days. And I, I will explain it more, but that just gives them more motivation to hurry up and think of people really quick to put that on their list, okay? I've done that before uh, because some people need that extra like, hey, I need you to think right now, this is your money. Um, and this is your business and we're going to really treat it like a business. So we're going to help them. Um, they're going to write a list of 15 people. Okay. At bare minimum, this is a bare minimum for right away. Um, and then the very next step. So they're going to say, Brittany, I have my list of 15. Great. Take a picture and send that to me. Okay. This is important as well. This is just as important as them taking their own, writing their own list down because that way we can circle back with them later on down the line. We have to have their list. So they need to take a picture of it or if they wrote it on their phone, take a screenshot, send it to us. We need their list um, because in the first 90 days, of course, we're gonna be very, very hands-on with them. Um, and we need to, for us to do our job, we need to think of creative ways for them to have interactions and, um, and talk to their the people that are on their list. We need to help them do that. In order for us to do that, we need to have their list. Um, now, right after they send us their list, uh, the very next thing I do is different probably than most people, um, but I want um, the wheels to be going. I want revenue to be coming into us while we're doing the other things on this call, okay? Because I actually want to do something hands-on with them and do a consultation on our onboarding call, okay? So what I do is I say, um, you know, it could be one or two, two things. Um, they could be already used a product for months and have a before and after, that's amazing, hair that, that shows hair growth. Um, or it could be 
B, option B is they just got their product pack um, and they just washed their hair one time. That is perfectly okay as well. Um, if that is the case, we need to find a before act picture um, where it shows their dry damaged hair. So we could show the after picture and um, it needs to be noticeably different, okay? This cannot look like nothing has changed, okay? We have to make sure that we are steering our person in the right direction and that we make sure that this, pic this picture is gonna pop, okay? So after that, we are going to help them formulate their first post. Um, so the word, the verbiage and all that, we are going to help them formulate that. But before they post it, um, you could be, you know, formulating it for them or whatever. You're going to say, take, you know, five to 10 minutes, hopefully 10 minutes, um, and comment and engage with those 15 people on your list. Go to their Facebook, ask questions. You know, I'm sure everybody has been on uh, social media or a, uh, what is it, a power hour um, from this team. And if you have, then you already know what I'm talking about. You just engage for 10 minutes. Um, but be strategic on the people that you're commenting on. You want it to be that 15 people list. And if you go through that, that's fine. Go through Facebook and comment on people. Um, really, you're just going to be asking questions and complimenting them, et cetera, um, for 10 minutes. Because the reason why is because Facebook will show their posts to more people if they do that right before they post. So I set them up completely for success for this first post. It is that important. And I'm like, look, it might sound silly, but listen, this is what I do. I know how Facebook works and it's silly, I know, but this is what we need to do and it's gonna help you. Um, and so they do that for 10 minutes, then we will do the post. Um, and actually right before they hit the submit button for the post, they're going to ask three of their closest people they're going to say, hey, I'm about to do this post. Could you please inquire on it or comment, um, show some love on my post? So they're going to have three people that already say yes. Like they reply and say, yes, I got you. Or yes, I'll comment and inquire. Um, then they go to do the post. So immediately they're going to have three of their best friends or whoever comment and inquire. That's going to be make it more attractive. That's going to make Facebook show their posts more, all of that stuff. So I'm sure most of you guys have seen, um, you know, I posted in Rockstars before, like, hey, this is my new partner. She just did her first post. Could you guys go comment on her post? I'm sure you guys have seen one of those before. That is the post that I'm talking about. I will also ask, you know, some of my friends, hey, could you go comment on that girl's post? It's her very first post. I want it to pop and I want it to get attention from her following. So um, all it does is, like, like I said, Facebook will show up more, more people will be interested in it because they'll see other people are inquiring about it. It's just how, the, uh, how it works. So after we do that post, that's when you, they're gonna be getting inquiries while we're doing the rest of the onboarding call, okay? So that is why I do that as a very second step here, okay? So the first step is the list. It could be 15 and 20. Later on, we're gonna expand that to 100. I'm gonna give them a goal of expanding it to 100 people they know within one week. That is their one week goal, but right away is 15 to 20. Um, then they do the social media posts. Um, Jackie, what if they don't get inquiries? I've had a few crickets on the first post. Yeah, so as long as they follow these steps, have three of their best friends comment, you comment um, and the picture really has to pop. The, their picture, their before and after has to pop. So um, maybe you could do better with the before and after picture. And it's okay to tell them, hey, that before picture, your hair looks fine. I need a picture that actually shows damage. You know, make sure that you get what you're looking for to make that, to make people want to be like, hey, what is that? Um, that usually, that usually is what happens, it, as well as commenting for 10 minutes and liking for 10 minutes prior to posting, okay? Um, so that's the goal. Obviously, sometimes it could happen where we get nothing, but that's the goal. Um, now, the next thing we're gonna do while that's generating income for us is we are going to, let me see here. 
Oh yeah. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is tell them about Market Partner Academy training. Um, I'm going to let them know. Um, do we do this on Facebook? Yes, you could do it on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. It could be the same post. It could be the same before and after picture. Yes, it could be. Hey, all Brenda, that. are you doing this in like one session with them? Like getting through all of the steps you've got so far, like yes. on the phone. Yes, I so let you're them know. Them do the post. You're working with them. You're finding the picture. You're doing the 10, 10 the comments and likes. Okay. Yes. So I'm doing this all on the phone with them. So before and before I do the onboarding call, I let them know it will be one hour. I need one hour of your time. We're gonna jump in. I'm gonna tell you the basics that you need to start earning while while we learn. Okay, so we're gonna try to earn your first check on this call. Um, and all right, so I make sure that I have an hour commitment. So the very next thing is I'm gonna let them know about Market Partner Academy training. That's the third thing, okay? Let them know we have it. It's in the back office. I will um, ask them to sign in, but I don't ask them to sign in yet. I just say, hey, it's eight hours of training. It's going to tell you everything you need to know as far as product knowledge, as far as further marketing yourself on social media, um, how to do um, a more explanation about the comp plan, exactly how we get paid. And they break it down so elementary that you'll be able to understand the compensation plan, all of that in detail. It is eight hours long. So, um, but in order for you, um, just to let you know, in your first three months in the business, you are in what's called smart start. So that's when I bring up start, smart start. And I say, in your first 90 days, you get quadruple amount of money in your first three months in the business. So every minute is, is of essence because um, we're in this quadruple bonus period. So we need you to, you to complete this training as soon as possible. So that's kind of how I make it more, I need to create urgency and using Smart Start to create that urgency for Market Partner Academy is okay to do. And it's actually recommended to do. So let them know, listen, we're in Smart Start. Um, and I'll explain that, I'll break that down more for you. But um, when could you get that done? So I usually say, you know, they'll tell me, um, I'll say, is it one day, two day, three days? Like how many, how many days do you think you could break it up and, and get that done. Um, the longest that I go in that commitment is one week. That is if they're working full-time, et cetera. But we really wanna have it be no longer than one week because they could do one hour a day, okay? Um, let me see here. I took notes so that way I don't forget anything. Um, if you guys have any questions, I will be answering those as well. Um, and to be honest with you, with you guys, I kind of like everybody does onboarding differently. Um, this is just the, the ways I've been doing it for the last few people. That's really got them to um, get confidence right away. And that is really our goal is for them to um, go through from a prospect inquiry or inquiring, whatever, um, to the final, like closing the sale. So we just want to walk them through all the steps. And the more we do that, like if we're able to do that one, two, three times, um, then they'll be more confident and be able to do it on their own. Um, okay. So that's step number three. Okay. It's getting the commitment on market partner Academy training. And then All right, let me just see. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna get to my dad's favorite part, which is, is probably number one for him. But there, there, I told you why this wasn't number one for me. Um, number four is I need three people to do a three-way call with, okay? And I need you to trust me on this. Um, oh, Aaron, could you make sure everyone's muted? Okay, I say um, the number four thing I do is I say I need three people we could do three way calls with. And I need you to trust me on this, but in order for you to learn, the best way you can learn is to see me doing it. And then you will basically monkey see, monkey do. 
you will literally just copy that consultation that I do. Um, and we'll, let's do it three times. And that way you see that I, I do it the same way every single time. Um, now for these three people, there is a few things that I need to know about them. So, um, and I'll tell them when you pick these three people, you could even tell them that, hey, you started business and you need to do this for training. Could they hop on a call real quick? Um, you know, or, hey, I remember you said your hair is falling out. I have this product. I tried it. I loved it. And I know you're going to love it too. Um, I wanted to ask you what shampoo you're using and stuff. And um, I'm, I'm, my mentor has helped me. She's training me. So I'm, are we able to help you or give you a call in blah, 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 Just set up the call, okay? Three people. Now, um, what I need from them is I need their occupation. I need to know what they do for a living. And the reason why I ask for this, like the background information on people is because if there is rebuttals, I will be better equipped to handle them. You know, that's the only reason why I need this information. That way I'll be, like I said, better equipped to handle any kind of um, rebuttals. Um, so their occupation, I would like to know if they have kids or not. I would like to know, have they been in direct sales before? Um, do they need money? Are they, uh, do you feel like they're a hustler or entrepreneur? That's it, okay? Just tell me that basic information about them before we hop on that three-way call. Um, and if you know whatever hair concern they are, they have, let me know what hair concern they have. That way, again, um, I'll be better equipped for that call. Um, and I'll make sure I hit on those points uh, when we talk. Now, um, also one more thing, if you do know, it's a bonus. If you do know what shampoo they use prior to the call, because I do like to look it up a little bit and make sure there's plastic in it or silicone um, or, you know, whatever other bad stuff. I'll look into it really quick, just so I have that in my, you know, in my, in the back of my mind when I'm talking to them. Um, so when we do a three-way call, um, what I do is, you know, I just, uh, what I was thinking, Aaron, is uh, we could do a mock three-way call and just record it. Um, that way people know the exact steps we do for the three-way call, um, because, I've had people ask me like, what do you do on the three-way call? And I'm not like, I didn't, I wasn't expecting to like go into the whole three-way call, but. Um, well, so don't, let's, let's do this. Let's do this instead. Yeah. You're doing some with your uh, Spanish people. Why don't you just record one of those? That's different because it's talking about founders. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is this a question? Um, when you're doing your three-way call, but is that just to show them how to um, get VIPs and you just want the extra info like about whether they've done um, sales before or not in case they might be interested in becoming an MP? Yeah, that's a good question. So, yeah, I so do you the can three cover calls. both? Okay. When I do the three-way calls, I um, tell them, I say, hey, my name is Brittany. I'm with Monet Global. Um, have you ever heard about Monet? Okay, because I don't want to go like, oh, this is money, da, 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 da. and then they're like, I already heard of it. I don't want that rebuttal, right? Right. <laughs> so right, I, right. my first question is always, hey, have you ever heard of money? Um, they'll say yes or no. And I don't even say anything else about it. I don't care really what they say. I say, okay, great. Well, I have a question. Um, what shampoo do you currently use now? I put them right into that consultation. And you do know what the consultation is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I just put them right in there. Okay. Okay. And then, and, um, then you... and then I do say, you know what, just to let you know, okay. if you do try it, you are going to love your results and there is a huge opportunity. And then I, and then I might ask them another question. Like, have you ever been in direct sales? Um, and they'll say yes or no. I'll be like, okay. Um, well, let me tell you something else you, you know, I give them my hook. You could make, you know, obviously let's go ahead and have you try it. Or you could try it as a market partner, get the bigger discount. So I give them their options and I say, um, and you can make a hundred dollars per customer in your first 30 days or 90 days or whatever. Um, and I could go into more detail with that. And it's totally up to you. Either way is a hundred percent guaranteed. 
Okay. And, uh, you know, I, I basically make them um, just, they'll be asking questions and um, obviously I know what their hair problem is. So I know they have a problem and I'm just here to fix it. And do you want to okay. make money or spend money? You know, kind of thing. So I just so, kind of so present just, it very simple. Yeah, hey yeah, Brett, okay. just, just to put it, frame it for everybody. It really is a mini opportunity call one-on-one -on -one with that other person listening in, trying to learn what you're doing to, by listening. You yes. know what I mean? So the, the, the new market partners listening, their, their friend is there, you're doing a one-on-one -on -one mini meet Monate to try, to try to present them the opportunity. And you're gonna go all the way and you're gonna ask them. You are gonna ask them if they wanna be a market partner. You're gonna ask them if they wanna be a customer. Cause so many people, get to a point where they just, if they had just asked, the person would have uh, said, oh yeah, well, you know, nobody ever I just asked me. So we're gonna go all the way there in the meet Monate with them. And that's what the intention of the three-way call is. Yep. Okay. okay. So, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have them message them probably while I'm on the phone so I could help them with the verbiage if they need it. Um, and, hope maybe somebody could hop on the phone right then if not i say right then if not i say one loop one loop um i don't know if i can hear myself okay hello okay sorry <laughs> i was like echoing um so i'll give them one week to schedule three people for the one one um three-way call okay so again um the first step let me just go through it again, is a list of 15 to 20 people. Um, number two is the social media post, which we helped them with that. They comment for 10 minutes prior, ask three friends to comment before they post, then go out and post it, get the commitment from Market Partner Academy training. Um, and then we will do the list or the uh, three, the three people, three way call, okay? Um, and honestly, when they just get one person, maybe they say, you know, I'm pretty only at one person. I say, okay, great. What time could they call? What time could they talk? And usually that call goes so good. They have another person just like that because they get that confidence, um, after you do one of them. And then next thing you know, they'll have a whole bunch. Um, and usually by about three, um, the fourth one, if they ask you for a fourth one, that's when I say, okay, I want you to do this one. Um, you took notes on all the other calls that we did. I want you to do the fourth one um, because sometimes the only way to learn is by doing um, or it just reinforces the learning, all of that. Um, let's see. Does anyone have any questions so far? Okay. So back to Market Partner Academy. Yes, um, I do, I do. Okay. Um, I don't know if you answered it. Hi, I don't know if you Hi. answered it in the message, but do you do a launch, a business launch at all? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think it's a great idea to do a business launch. Um, I haven't necessarily did it myself that many, I did it a few times. Um, I haven't done it on these last few, but it's not, it's not a bad thing. I think that maybe what would be good is, you know, if we can't be there with them during the launch is we could do one of those um, giveaway groups for them or like a giveaway launch party. I think that, I think those work really good for, for that. Okay. Um, I think but, I think that the general strategy that we're trying to, to accomplish with this is get them paid as soon as possible. And I know that, that there are approaches and I've seen them all um, and they're fantastic, don't get me wrong, where people get them geared up and start inviting to a, a launch in like seven days from now. And we're, we're trying to say, let's go, so let's start right now, get them paid right. this Friday because we think that'll keep them carrying on. You can always add a launch party in uh, in seven days from now as well. Yeah. But let's get I them think, paid like yeah. this week. Yeah. 
Good call. So I think like after the first seven days, let's get them doing, let's have them complete Market Partner Academy first. So I think week two, like day eight or, you know, within the second week, that's when we're going to put together that virtual uh, launch party. And it could, it, it doesn't even, it could be a Facebook event um, where there's giveaways, or it could be a Facebook live with their, with their upline. It could be that kind of thing. Um, there's so many different ways we could do that, but I think that should be week two. This is a way to get them customers immediately, give them confidence. That way they want to do that watch party. Yeah, I agree. Um, I was just asking because if you get them to go look at the Market Partner Academy, they talk about doing a launch. <laughs> so yeah. I was wondering if that happened or yeah, not. For they're sure. Probably question that. Yeah. Good, good call. Yeah. So I think that should be week two. I think I'm, I'm, I feel really comfortable with that being week two. Um, now let's see. Okay, also with the Market Partner Academy, when we get that commitment, um, let me see, where am I? When we get that commitment, we are going to tell them we, I mean, this is what I do, so I suggest you guys do it as well, that we will give you a small gift when you complete it. Just um, send me the screenshot of you, of your, of you completing it, um, and then I'll mail them like a $15 to $20 gift. It could be a Monet gear thing. It could be um, a little notepad. I know the last few I've given like one of these two. Um, so just give them a small token just to show like, you know, that you, that they did a good job. Um, all right, let's see. Now after, yep, after our three-way calls, because that is the fastest way they're gonna learn how we do this. Um, is that is those three way calls? So those are so so important because I remember I had one market partner. She's a she's a realtor, and um, she just had a million questions on how am I going to market this? How am I going to sell it? What do I say? This and that. It was just a million questions. But okay. I said, you know what? I said just get them on the phone call, and I will show you. And we did one call. Signed up a market partner. I said, okay, give me another one. Gave me another one the next day and signed them up. Third one, signed them up. We were seven for seven on these three-way calls. Cause, and, and then I, I, pro I probably did too many for her. I think that I should have had her do like the fourth one. So starting, you know, so now I'm gonna be, you know, at when it's the fourth call, they need to be doing it. And that way you could still be on the call. So it'll still be a three-way call. Um, they will just be the ones running it because they took notes on the first three, okay? Um, but that gave her tons of confidence and all of that. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to go over the consultation with them. Because let's say, for example, when we're doing this call um, to get somebody, hey, Brittany, someone said, what's that shampoo? So you're going to go through the consultation steps, which I'm not going to go through those steps here. Um, we do have a consultation video that you could view to see those consultation steps. But I will train my new market partner. And I don't refer them to the video, I actually go through it and I want them to take notes because that's how they're going to retain it better. And um, like, I'd rather just do it face to face rather than be like, oh, later on, go do that. No, I want to do it right now. I'm creating urgency. I'm showing them that I'm putting this time and effort into them. So um, we could have that relationship as well. So I actually go through the consultation steps. Okay. They take notes. Um, the next thing is I want to make sure that they have the Meet Monate cheat sheet, okay? So if they are talking to anybody about it, they have the basic info about who Monate is and why Monate, okay? So make sure they have the Meet Monate cheat sheet presentation. Um, and it's in Rockstars under, you just hit the search tool, and type in Meet Monet Cheat Sheet Presentation. It will pop up if you don't, if you guys don't have that, okay? It's just very simple um, thing for them, just for them to know the, back, the company background, stuff like that. Um, the very next thing I do is I will have them go to their uh, back office and sign in, okay? So um, 
let me see what step we're on. Three. So after the three-way call, number four is um, the consultation, okay? Which I go through the consultation, I take notes. After they do that, um, number five is actually the cart or the website. So I have them log in, okay? So they log in and I say, okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to sign up a VIP. So um, I'll go to enroll. Uh, you know, they do it. So I tell them, do this, do this. You guys all know how to sign up for VIP. Um, but I tell them, this is what you do. Okay, now you go to shampoo, select renew shampoo, go to um, conditioner, select the conditioner, go to treatment, select the mask, and then go to choose only for you, select the free product of the month. Um, now, what I want you to do, and I tell them to do this, I say, scroll all the way down at the bottom and you see the total right there, right? And they say, yes, I say, okay, well, when I'm doing the consultation, I take a screenshot of that picture right there. It tells you the retail price versus what their, their savings. Um, so I send them that screenshot and um, that way they could see the bigger savings that they're getting and more likely to buy it because people love a savings. So um, I do show them that and I say, okay, you hit continue, set up their flagship. You could push it out to 60 days. Um, and then that's it. So I show them that. Then I say, okay, now we're going to enroll a market partner. And it's very basic. You just select the product pack and put in their information. Make sure that the sponsor always says you um, when you're enrolling someone or vice versa. Uh, your market partners as well. You're going to train the same way. So after I show them their website, their enroll VIP, enroll market partner. Those are the two things I show them. I then show them where the Market Partner Academy training is. Um, so they, they click on it, they see where that's at. Um, then I will show them um, their, their days in Smart Start. So I'll, see, I'll say, see the days in blue? That's how many days you have in your quadruple bonus period in your Smart Start. Um, so it tracks the days as well as if you see those 12 little guys, it tracks your VIPs for you. So every time you get a VIP, it lights up blue. So I show them kind of how to read their back office because I remember before in the very beginning, I did not explain that. <laughs> and also how to check um, their goals, like MMP, what percentage and how they need to have those three things all filled in. Um, so I show them that. That's your first goal is MMP. Um, you know, usually we want to try to complete this within two weeks. Um, that's our goal for you. And, um, but I say the good news, as you see, you know, you have volume there because that's from your product pack. So all you need is this remaining and two partners to join you. Um, so hopefully we can get that on your three-way calls. Um, all right. So I'm on the website. All right, so right after the website, wait, no, I showed them all of that. I think the very next thing um, is the compensation plan. I show them that in the back office. Um, so again, all you show in the back office is how to enroll a VIP, how to do a market partner. Um, you show them their goal, the percentage to, to their ranks, how to, how to view that. Um, and then I will show them where Market Partner Academy is. And the last thing is the compensation plan. So you go to, you know, your resources, um, compensation plan, and you tell them they want to download it, print it, study it. Um, and you could briefly go through it if you want. Um, you could show them, this is something that I actually just found out, which is kind of funny. And this is how, you're, how you know you're always learning is that there's a weekly icon when you get paid weekly and there is a monthly icon on the items you get paid monthly. So that is one thing that I point out. See, it has that little icon that's weekly and that little icon that's monthly. So they never get confused when they're getting paid. Okay, that is one thing you can point out. Um, but you could say, you know, they further explain this compensation plan, but you will want to print it. That way, when you go through the Market Partner Academy training, um, 
you'll be able to look at it while they're while they're going over it. Okay. Um, and the very last thing that I do is I go through, I send them albums to my phone. Okay. So this is something that I do. I don't know if other people do this, um, but it's because um, creating these albums took me a lot of time and I want to save people time and I want them to have the information that they, they will need. Okay. So um, I'm an iPhone user, so they need to be iPhone users um, for me to share my albums with them. If they aren't iPhone users, I will get them at least the album, which has about 40 images in it. So I will just send it to them and I'll say, I want you to put this in the album in your phone, label it um, Monate's Opportunity. Um, and that way, all of those documents, the compensation plan, all of that will be right there in your album for you. Um, the Monate difference, you know, all kinds of things that you guys will need will be right there. Because um, the more organized we are, the better. I also have a before and after um, album that has before and after pictures of hair care. Um, it's like 150 pictures, but I have that as my very first album in my phone. Um, because if I'm out in public, I want to pull that up really quick and show people, you know, whoever I'm talking to, like, you know, I start conversations and you know what, the professionals in this industry find, um, basically make meeting new people a skill. Um, one of their, one of their best skills. So you want to always, you know, meet people and have those available on your albums. Um, so people could view that. Um, all right. So let's see here. I think that's about it. I thought it was going to be way longer than this. Um, now I am I am reading GoPro by Eric Worre, of course, and I did see this, which I know one of my good friends. Um, she reads this to every single market partner that joins her. So I kind of want to start with the next market partner that I onboard um, and do this as well. So, um, and this is actually really important to do. And I think it's really smart to do because it is so true. Okay. So it's on page 104 of GoPro. It says, um, there will certainly be ups and downs as you build your business. Um, there will be good times and bad times. I know you're in one of the bad times when you aren't calling me, you aren't showing up for meetings, you aren't on the calls. If I start hearing excuses, that sort of thing, um, when that happens with you and it happens with everyone, how do you want me to handle that? Do you want me to leave you alone or do you want me to be persistent and remind you why you made this decision in the first place? Okay. Can you so repeat think, that? I'm yeah. Sorry. So it says there will certainly be ups and downs as you build your business. There will be good times and bad times. I know you're in one of the bad times when you aren't calling me, you aren't showing up for meetings, you aren't on the calls. If I start hearing excuses, that sort of thing, when that happens with you and it happens with everyone, how do you want me to handle that? Do you want me to leave you alone or do you want me to be persistent and remind you why you made this decision in the first place? Um, because as we know, we all go through it, okay? Um, and it's important for you to, it's smart for you to tell them that, hey, it's not gonna be all gravy, okay? Because the first time it's gonna get hard, like, I don't want you to just quit because it's happened to all of us where we had someone that's been amazing and the one thing doesn't go their way and they quit because they think it's going to be all great for some reason. I don't know why people have that impression, but some people do. So it is important for you to just communicate that, hey, it's okay. We're going to go through bad times and good times. How do you want me to handle that if that happens? Um, so yeah, I'm going to start incorporating that um, and that will be like how you kind of end it. 
Um, let me see here. Quick question, Britt. Yes. When we run into those situations, at what point do we let them go? At well, what point like, would you say let them go? Um, <laughs> I, don't, like, I don't know. Energy? Off energy? That's a good question. Aaron, do you know? Yeah, or, I got an answer for you. Thanks. <laughs> so, so here, so if somebody, if somebody tells me um, they're, you know, I just need some time or I don't feel like doing it now. I think you just put them on the back burner and check in with them in a week, check in with them in a month, keep them on your motivational posts, keep them on, keep them in your mind, reach out to them once a month for the next six months. You know what I mean? I don't think it's a problem to do that and say, hey, I'm just checking in, or maybe there's a new product that launched, a new country that launched, or a new flash sale. I just wanted to let you know of this. Um, and it can't hurt. Like, I don't think you're doing anything that can hurt because you're only trying to help them. So I think it's okay if you put minimal time in over the next six months, and then eventually, you know, um, you can throw out something like, I, I tend to throw out, well, I'll tell you what, you reach out to me if you want to know when the next thing is. So they have to do an action to get me back again. And then I'll just drop it after that. But it doesn't hurt to, to poke the person a few more times because you never know if they're going to get through that and go, yeah, you know what? I finally got over that personal problem. And oh my God, I'm getting divorced. I need some money. You know what I mean? Maybe that was the personal problem. And they just realized, holy cow, I need some money. So you never know. Just keep at it a little bit. Yeah, I think that's what mom did too. She would just love on people regardless all the time. Um, and you know how we should be uh, commenting for 10 minutes before we post. I think she would always keep those people on her list to comment on um, because we're going to be just like we um, follow up with our prospects. We're going to be following up with with our market partners in the same exact manner. Um, we're still going to be trying to get them uh, included and back in, back in action. Um, okay, so yeah, that, let me see if there's any questions really quick. I think I saw something. Okay, so as far as the paragraph, that is actually on GoPro. So you guys, if you guys don't have the physical copy, go ahead and download it on Audible. Um, highly, highly recommend when you're in the shower, when you're driving, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, every chance you get. Um, but it does on page 104. And I could um, I could send it to Aaron. Aaron could figure out how to get it to everyone. <laughs> All right, so let's see, anything else? Um, so actually, I, I have these five, these steps, and they will be going into files. Yes, we are going to put this uh, recording in there, as well as the the just the steps. I think there's like five steps only. Okay, um, for for week one of onboarding, because we don't want to do. We really want to make it as simple as possible. That way, it is duplicatable. Um, and then, if you guys want to add anything to week two on top of their little launch or whatever. You guys could always do that. Um, but I think we are good to go. Aaron, do you have anything to add? Uh, no, the only thing I'm gonna say is I think we're coming back here next Tuesday and we'll do a mock three-way call uh, with somebody. So we'll figure this out. Uh, look, for, look for the event, probably do it at the same time. All of it's gonna be recorded. We'll put it in a guide in Rockstars and we'll put the, the, the written description in the post when we post the link for this video so you'll see it all and you guys can uh you know just make the best of it man you guys this is this is the time when if you think about where you are in your monate journey every time it's around mid-june i start thinking what's about to happen now first thing that's going to happen is we're launching two countries okay the next big thing that's going to be the shocker of it all are we're doing monations whether you're there, whether you're remote, Monations is happening. You're going to want the I want it all pack. 
They already said there's a country going to be launched during Monation. They said there are three things so large. They don't know what to end on in the last day of Monations. So there's huge things. So you want to get your business and your MPs bootstrapped up and running so that they can be ready for that, those major events coming up, okay? That's why we're trying to do this for you guys. Okay, perfect. And then, um, but just to let you guys know, I got the, the, um, the information I got from Eric Gorey. It is chapter nine, which is um, titled Helping Your New Distributor Get Started Right. Okay, so read that chapter nine on your Audible or in your hard book cover. And you guys have a great night. We will see you guys back next Tuesday, as Aaron said. And I love you guys. Bye.